In the previous lessons, we have learned the general framework for practicing evidence-based mental health. In this lesson, we will learn step one of EBM, formulating your clinical question. Following the clinical scenario from last lesson, you want to start looking for the evidence. First, you must formulate your clinical question. Your original clinical question may be something like, what is the best drug for maintenance treatment of bipolar 1 disorder? However, with this type of naive question, you cannot search the literature efficiently. In fact, you yourself are not clear enough as to what you are looking for and therefore may never be able to get the answer. So you have to formulate your clinical question. That is, what are the patient's exposure, comparisons, and outcomes of your clinical question. In this case, it may be something like patients with bipolar 1 disorder in remission. Exposure can be something like combined valproate plus lithium in comparison with valproate alone Will it reduce relapse rates? So now let's practice formulation of clinical questions. Some examples of naive clinical questions can be I am concerned with hidden, undetected bipolar depression. I have seen several women who developed bulimia nervosa in their 30s. What are their characteristics? How big is the care burden of having a demented member in the family? Or much more simply, I want to know the relationships between food and cancer. In order to turn naive questions into good ones, you have to formulate your question by making its four components explicit. That is, P, E, C, O, pickle. P stands for patients. E stands for exposure or intervention, C for comparison, and O for outcome. In the last lesson, we have learned that there are four types of clinical questions. Those regarding diagnosis, those regarding treatment, those regarding prognosis, and those regarding side effects or causation. All these can be formulated in PECO format. For example, I am concerned with hidden, undetected bipolar depression. Is your question about diagnosis or about treatment or about prognosis or about side effect? You may now wish to stop the video here and formulate some questions yourself. Welcome back. Have you written down your clinical question? It is very important to write down your clinical question.
Let me give you some examples. If diagnosis, it may be something like, among patients presenting with a major depressive episode, mood disorder questionnaire, for example, in comparison with the gold standard diagnosis, what likelihood ratios or sensitivity and specificity does it have? If treatment, it could be something like among patients with bipolar depression, does SSRI plus olanzapine in comparison with olanzapine alone decrease depression severity or may increase frequency of manic switches. If prognosis among patients with bipolar depression in the context of bipolar 2 disorder in comparison with bipolar 1 disorder or perhaps in comparison with unipolar depression, what are their two-year prognosis such as length of index episode, total time in episode, or social functions. If side effects, for example, among patients with bipolar depression starting treatment, use of antidepressants in comparison with not using antidepressants we we have more manic switches let me give you a few more examples for someone who says I'm interested in women who developed bulimia nervosa in their 30s and interested in prognosis this may be his clinical question for someone who is interested in how big is the care burden of having a demented member in the family if causation this could be another example.